Ah, the castle. This tells me that your tavern will be a part of Loch Dyden for decades to come. It's your fault that I can't pay my tab, you know. I wasn't ever supposed to come back here in the first place. I've spent the last 20 years knowing what fate had in store for me. And then you... Damn it. I thought I had my life figured out. Not for a fate weaver, it isn't. But that's just the problem. When I was young, I thought I could overcome anything. Now, I know otherwise. I fought beasts the size of trees, was celebrated by mortals and fae alike. When I was initiated into the fate weavers, I thought it was a reward for my good deeds. The first time I saw my own fate, I realized it was nothing but a curse. My own death, of course. But not a hero's death, as I had always dreamed. I was going to die alone and unknown. Killed by an Etin and used for stew. It was a terrible end. But I knew it was part of fate's greater plan. Then you came and changed that future. You stole my part in the tapestry. I was at peace with knowing the worst. But what do I do now that there's nothing to know? I don't doubt your intentions. Just realize that we Fate Weavers have long accepted that the reason for some things were beyond our understanding. Not everyone would trust your intentions or your foresight. Your freedom means living with a lot of responsibility. I can't help you with that. But maybe this will help lessen the other dangers you face. Take it with my thanks. Oh, of course. There's still a band of Tawatha tracking you. But as I was about to say, I found where they're set up. It's a cavern to the north of town, complete with some way of scrying your location. That's how they found you so easily. I have a plan, but it'll take both of us to work. These soldiers were sent out with one purpose, finding you and making sure you stay dead. Everything else, the well, Arden, Hughes, have all been collateral damage. They're using something big to track you. They call it the Eyes of Tiernock. Smash it, and they won't be following you anymore. The main entrance is heavily guarded and will require a strong attack. The other route is trapped. It'll need a subtler approach. Good, good. I'll charge in the front and get their attention. You slip in and smash the eyes of Ternok. That way we'll make sure they can't escape to report back to whoever sent them here. Good luck.
This is their escape route. It'll have traps, but few guards. You might be able to use their defenses against them, if you're clever. I'll distract the guards at the front and make sure none of them escape. See you inside.
fear not. We honor Dying mortal has grown tired of running, has he? Decided to fight back? Can you tell me the difference between a creature of nature and a child of dust like yourself? We children of nature know our roles. Meek and mighty. Prey and predators. Life and death. All serve the cycle. You children of dust do not know your place. You come into our land. You come to face your hunters. And you, you don't know when to die. No mortal, perhaps, but I am Gadflo, blessed herald of the merciful Tiernach. Our army shall cleanse the world of your mortal imperfection. And you, all mortals end, even if some are more persistent than others. 
At least the Tawatha won't be able to track you so easily now. But it looks like you've got the personal attention of their king, Gadflow. If you were anyone else, I'd suggest you start running and not stop for a few years. But you might just have a chance. You're doing well, so far. You've blinded them here, and they haven't killed you yet. And much as I hate to say it, you'll need to take Aelin Shear up on her offer of help. The Codex of Destiny should hold some answers for you. For all I know, you've already met her in the House of Ballads. But it sounds like she's the only lead now. We should be able to get out this way. As the tree roots into the earth, the tendrils of thoughts twist to the soul. As the fire renews the field, the birthing labors produce the fall. As the mantis climbs to his mate, the heart outstretched to her fair hand. As the hunter kills its prey, beside this hill he crafts from sand. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Listen, all of you. As you've clearly heard, a rare vacancy had... Proceed no farther, mortal. You are not one of our kind, and the seat of Sir Sagral will never be occupied by one so mundane. Hallam the White prepares the contest, and he must not be interrupted at this, our time of greatest need. I will be here. Glynel, I assure you it's an ancient codex, just like in the tales. Intriguing. Why, welcome to the Summer Sanct. I see you are a stranger and a... Mortal. I am green, and I possess farewell, fragile one. And here I was beginning to think that you'd never show up. This is Glynel, Lore Master of the House of Ballads. Give the Codex over to him, and he may have your answers. Lore Master Glyonal has devoted centuries to the study of lore and ancient fey stories. The codex he found isn't just any lore stone. Just talk to him, and I'm sure he'll be able to shed some light on the issue. Go on your way. You must be Lady Shear's friend. She speaks very highly of you. An occasion rare enough to be worth recording in its own right. But let's see this codex. The Fable Codex of Destiny. When the Fate Weavers formed their order, a High King gave his own wisdom to assist them. To have such knowledge in your hands is a tremendous gift, but why did it reveal itself to you? Nonsense. All children of dust have a story that is written before you see your first dawn. Now, I can only make out some parts, but this is odd. The Codex speaks of an exception, a void, an end to the endless. This is simply too much. The High King would never pawn such absurdity off as wisdom. I'm sure you think it is. I fear you must have been taken in by a forgery. A perfectly created one, perhaps, but a forgery nonetheless. This codex speaks of impossible things, changes to fate, death of the immortals, and other heresies. To ascribe these lies to the High King would be... I'm sorry, but I must ask you to take it away. I will have no part in these lies. Do not bother me with such foolish unfortunate. Is there a meaning to it? Only its author can tell you. Do not bother me with such foolishness again. Lionel spends his life cherishing old stories, but show him something truly new, and he dismisses it. Tragic. First of all, we ignore this fool. Most Fey aren't comfortable with change, and you are certainly something new. I'm afraid that only one person will really be able to help us with the Codex. The High King himself. Tatarian isn't like other Fey. I'm sure he'd be interested in you even if you didn't have that codex. The only problem will be meeting him. His court is in the city of Issa, and few mortals are permitted to enter its gardens. I do know one individual who can allow you to enter, but you'll have to meet him alone. Neolim is more of a what than a who. You'll understand when you meet him. With any luck, he'll be more favorably disposed to you than he is to me. He's bound to be curious at least. You'll find him in Southeast Dalantar, at Cair Nirolim. Just head towards the giant tree and, well, you'll see. Good luck with Nirolim, and ignore anything he says about me. Me. 
I miss sound. Kester Barclay. My Until later, then. now. Looks so. I don't want to think you've stumbled on our camp by accident. Go on. Oh, oh you're breaking my poor heart, Dove, just like Krilgarin. But I trust you'll come to regret when such a time has reached you, see me again. I'll be right here. But feel... Off the road, eh? Looks like you've have you spoken with Grim Onwick? You really should. If you need another trade, then come and see...
Welcome. Welcome to our surprise, Lucas Soren. Poor soul in the neck. Another time, then. I'm burning up. Strang in combat fair, Finian cycles kept. The exploits of this maiden's role, a burdensome and heavy toll. 
Come closer, little curiosity. And bargained with their kind. Throughout the town they stood in fear of the brilliant fighter near. The curious one seeks a way to the Fae, but it has found its way to the boughs of the world tree instead. Rest, Quickling, and I may study you. My roots spread wide and deep, and I have heard what brought you here, but I cannot see where you go hence. The time of the Fae is passing. I must shelter them in their twilight and protect them from the corruption that spreads in their kin to the east. I know your needs, but the predators circle Issa in her nest and I cannot allow another to enter. Issa's end has always been certain, buried beneath Prismere blades. I can only hold back the tide, but you, perhaps you can change the currents. Where you tread, you mark all you touch. Before I would help you, I must know. Will you be a kind gardener, or a careless reaper? Like all quicklings, you are eager to act. I would rather see the method of your action. A tribe of trolls has been corrupted with Prismere. Their matriarch, Nash, has united the clans in the first step on the path of Dalantarth's demise. You can change this fate, but to what? In doing so, you may awaken a more dangerous threat, like your ally, Aelin Shear. She walks a deep and tangled path, one that you walked alongside her before your death. But your path is your own now. Defeat Nash. Remove the taint of Prismere. Then I shall see who you are. If not, who you will become. Walk your path, and watch your ally.
story of two valiant souls I bring. Of the lords named Eremer and Kreth I sing. Two hearts united against common foes. The thoughts in mind of one, the other knows. Lord Kreth of Fey Knights most stoic and grave. Lord Eremer's night hand and shadow of the grave. And genteel Eremer, his equal in might, the dawn to Kreth's dusk, the day to his night. Here is the tale of a stopped patrol. The maid of Windermere misled its soul. find you here. A damned tree sent me. He has roots and branches all through the forest, but I was so hoping you'd be enough of a distraction for me to pass unnoticed. He said we should walk this path together. Thought I could help you, or maybe that you could help me. Let's not keep Nosh waiting.
Trolls aren't normally this well organized. Even the biggest clans never build dens this deep. trolls ever went on a rampage, they could destroy half of Dalantar.
it looks like the Tuatha have been working here for a long time. If they've come this far inland, they're all in grave danger.
Nice work. I see you haven't forgotten how to handle yourself in a fight. Still, this is bad. I didn't think the Tawaka would reach this far. At least, not so soon. To the contrary. Until you came along, she was destined to rampage across Dalantar. At least, if you believe Nirolin. Go, talk to the tree. I'm sure he'll let you into Issa now. I'll finish off any Tuatha hiding in this den. I'll find you again when it comes from it. Turn, and in your wake, Dalantarth blossoms. The flow is rearranged, now and forever. Nash's brood is at an end. You have destroyed what was written, and made a new fate for Dalantarth. Even your darkest ally walks a lighter path. And yet, the Tuatha still spread, marching with Prismere and pain. You have only delayed our doom. You have the power of an immortal, and yet the humility to ask for help. Little one, I envy your grace. You shall carry my blessings with you. You must know this, Quickling. The age is changing. Immortals are passing, and the future belongs to the young races. If there is a future to be had. Go, and stand at the heart of the Shi. There you will find Isa, And perhaps you will find wisdom as well. May your path be long and evergreen. 